I love baseball because you never know what's gonna happen next. Somebody could strike out, somebody could hit home run. It's, it's nine players on the field doing their best to, you know, win the game and come out on top. I love Truist Park because of just the energy you feel when you come in here. Atlanta fans are super passionate. I grew up on the south side of Atlanta in a suburb um, near Noonan, Georgia. I grew up a Braves fan. I loved Rafael for call those days. I was really also into Javi Lopez, so you can probably tell my age by now. I started working for the Braves in 2015. So I worked in our marketing team and I was working a lot on social media. During the spring of 2017, we were working to get the ballpark ready. I was having a little bit more difficulty seeing my computer. I was using larger text on my computer to get my work done, but I just thought that was because my eyes were tired. I ended up going to an ophthalmologist because my vision was really starting to get more narrow than I was comfortable with. I was diagnosed in the spring of 2017 with pseudotumor cerebri. Pseudotumor cerebri creates too much cerebral spinal fluid on the brain and that encompasses and puts pressure on the optic nerves. My vision loss was very sudden. It all happened really between February and April of 2017, two months. I probably have between five and 10% of vision left in my right eye and I don't really know in my left. I have finally gotten this job that I'm super passionate about, this work that I'm passionate about, these people that I'm very excited to work with every day, and I didn't want to lose that. And I just got to figure out a way to do this uh, with limited vision now. When I decided that I wanted to apply to get a guide dog, I have a great group of coworkers here, and they, just, they said, we want to support you in that. And so they ended up sponsoring two dogs from Southeastern Guide Dogs, one named after Walter Banks, his name is Banks, and another named after Henry Aaron, his name is Hank. The call was awesome. It, it, it was almost like, you know, getting the call to the majors. Hi, this is Joanne from Southeastern Guide Dogs. How are you today? And I'm like, this, this is going to be life-changing. This is going to be something that I really feel like is going to be my next step in, in getting some more normalcy back to my life. When I matched with Jack, the trainer told me that he was the life of the party. Uh, when he is out of harness, he wants to just make sure everybody knows what he's doing, that he's here, that he wants to play, that he's excited. But when he's in harness, he's all business. He's focused, he's determined, um, he's excited, he loves to track and go new places and experience new challenges. Jack was raised in a school, and I think that's maybe why he's so comfortable in the office environment here. He's used to seeing a lot of people uh, on a daily basis. And I think that that's something that his puppy raiser did with him, because she was teaching at a high school. So he was able to go to football games and go to different events, parades like that, while he was getting raised. And so he really was exposed to a lot of different things that have probably helped him be successful as a guide dog here. On a daily basis, we take elevators, we, we go to, to meetings, we, um, you know, we'll go to people's offices if we need to meet them there. He helps me feel free to, to move around as, as I want to. I think people are more excited to hear Jack coming than they are to see me when we go places around here. But people really uh, have accepted him and, and they're excited that he's a part of our team here. Jack's favorite co-worker is probably our mascot, Blooper. He likes to go greet him. He likes to go talk to him. And that's something that is probably one of his favorite parts of the day.
there are definitely things that I miss note taking. I miss being able to curl my hair every morning when I wanted to. I miss seeing, you know, a sick double play on the field, but I still have found other ways to get enjoyment out of out of things and not dwell on the things that I'm missing out on when a home run is hit and just the energy of the crowd or, you know, Tyler Massick striking out the side in an LCS game six. That was a huge moment that I still felt, even though I didn't see it. I'm still very green in learning what this life is like on the other side of vision loss, but because of the support of the people in my life, because of the support of the trainers at Southeastern and the Puppy Racers, I have been able to get some normalcy back and really feel like I didn't lose a huge chunk of my life when I lost my vision. I hope you're so proud of the guide dog that he's become. He really has changed my life. Um, he really has made me much more confident. And I really think he has enjoyed being a part of this journey. I think it's something that he has enjoyed and we've enjoyed being a team. I can't imagine having another teammate um, other than Jack. And I just really want to thank you for that. Now is the time to remember There are two of us facing our fate And though you've been tried by the burdens you bear I'm here to carry the weight You can count on me You can count on me Ready and willing Whenever you need I'll gladly follow Or I'll take the lead Count on me View every episode of Dogs of Destiny at guidedogs.org slash dogs of destiny.